I'll, I'll tell you what the police are. The greatest police farce is a horse. The police farce is a farce. We have all been brainwashed into believing things are what they're not. And they're not. I mean, what happens? It's television, isn't it? I'll tell you what happens. Somebody on television commits a hyenas crime. They steal a diamond about that big. And what happens? Inspector Lockhart rings up uh, Interpol. Interpol get in touch with one of the four just men and they apprehend the criminal in a penthouse in Rome in 25 minutes. <laughs> My bicycle pump was stolen three weeks ago. <laughs> seen it or heard of it since. And I'm not the only one. The vicar leaves his bicycle outside the battered trumpet every evening and three times he's had his bicycle pump stolen. The police told him to take his bicycle pump in with him. He did and they stole his bicycle. I mean, it's, it's time the police apprehended some of these hooligans. There are too many hooligans running loose. It's time the police did something about it. Well, they've got no sense of humour, have they? I mean, they absolutely ruined our rag week. We had a super jay on too. Oh God, you know what we did? We went into the local park and we, we tore up all the flowers, chopped down all the trees, <laughs> chopped down all the park benches and threw them all over the place. That was super. And the police didn't like it a bit. Why did you do it in the first place? To call attention to the charity that we were supporting. And what was that? Preservation of British parks. <laughs> Well, one has to keep in with it, it doesn't work. As a matter of fact, we've invited the commissioner along to the party tomorrow night at the Ladies' Institute. <laughs> Might be a little dull, though. I understand he is also the chairman of the Anti-Drink League. <laughs> no, they are not the Anti-Drink League. He's the chairman of the Anti-Vice League. Oh. Well, I knew there was something we shouldn't <laughs> offer again. <laughs> None of us get down to parking, will we, eh? <laughs> That's one consolation. <laughs> With a policeman, I had no right talking to Ted like that and showing him up in front of all these people. No, I'll admit he was doing over 30 miles an hour down a one-way street on a steamroller. And I will admit that he had no lights and he had had a few. But the policeman had no right showing him up in front of all these people. Well, at least he didn't arrest him. Well, he couldn't arrest him, though, could he? I mean, he's only eight. <laughs>